Hi, my name is Tyler Malik. I'm the head ice cream maker at Salt and Straw, and today we're going to make a salted malted chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. The base of this ice cream is a molasses vanilla ice cream, and then there's two mix-ins here. Uh, one is a malted chocolate chip cookie dough, and then the second is a homemade chocolate fudge. With this flavor, we wanted to basically take something that was like super nostalgic and classic and put a little bit of a twist on it. To make our cookie dough food safe, we actually pre-bake the flour. The malt powder, it's an extract of basically the same malts that they'd use in a beer. You'll often taste similar profiles maybe in a malted milkshake. Kind of like evolves that cookie dough and gives it this really nice nutty flavor profile. When I was growing up, I loved cooking, and the beauty of ice cream is that not only can we bring people together, but more than that is that we can be so creative with it. With this flavor, it's cool because it's just, you know, approachable enough that it really, like, tugs on some of that nostalgia. So for me, it's like walking in a pier on Oregon coast, eating, you know, a scoop, and it's just like, it's cheap, it's delicious, there's nothing like it. I love using xanthan gum. It's terrifying because it starts with an X, and so a lot of people think it's, you know, a scary ingredient, but actually it's not. It's gonna maintain the quality for up to a month. Most at-home ice creams, if you're not using a gum like that, will only last maybe two or three days. Ice cream is just naturally intimidating, and it shouldn't be. When you look at it at its core, we're melting a little bit of sugar into milk, adding some cream and letting that sit overnight, and that's an ice cream base, and that's all you need. In this case, we added a little bit of molasses and vanilla. In other cases, you could add a little bit of strawberries or a little bit of cocoa powder, make it chocolate. There's so many different avenues you can take with this. This is not a complicated process, and it actually like, hurts my soul to go to like a Goodwill and see how many you know, ice cream machines are out on the shelf. It's gonna turn out incredible. There's nothing like fresh homemade ice cream. The crazy thing is coming straight out of the machine, there's science that can back this up. That is the best the ice cream will ever be. Eating that whole thing right then and there is actually like, I, I praise you for being able to do that. Man, it's really incredible to be able to make ice cream every day. My favorite part is being able to constantly go out and source new products and new stories to tell through our ice cream. There's something magical about that, I think. So we'll put maybe a half inch layer of ice cream and then drizzle in the fudge. And then another half inch layer of ice cream, drizzle fudge over that. And by the time it freezes, it'll scoop just really beautifully and you get these nice, thick, uh, distinct ribbons coming through. When I'm making ice cream, depending on what stories we want to tell or what parts of nostalgia that we want to tug on, we can kind of use our ice cream almost as a platform. That's why I think it's fun to put such a unique twist on it. It's not going to be like what you've ever tasted, but it might kind of just barely touch on that. This flavor is especially fun when it comes to eating it, just like that satisfaction. You're gonna have like a ton of texture in that cookie dough. So the fudge is gonna be a little sticky, but also kind of just give you this really deep punch of chocolate flavor. And the ice cream itself, that's the star of the show, and that's what we wanna show off at the end of the day. So the ice cream should have this perfect kind of velvet texture in your mouth. That's a magical experience, and I think something that hopefully everyone gets to try out and have fun with. I've fallen in love with making it. Oh, yeah!